questions, please. The girl, you heated up there, scored a lot of points. Were you, how would you, were you nervous early? Um, probably just a little, not a little frustrated. Um, but Frank turned me on a little bit, um, gave me a couple of assists, and then I felt the game. Carlton, you hit two of two of three three point attempts. Is that part of your game that you think is gonna? Uh, yeah, I try to stretch it out um, in practice. You know, I try to work on my three point, and I'm just trying to stretch the floor out. You know, help us scoring wise as well. It looked like you were feeling it out there. How, how good do you feel during the season? Uh, I feel good. I'm just you know going out there with with a lot of passion and just having fun. That's always been something you do, you know, whether on the floor or on the bench. That that energy, that passion. But is it different this year? I mean. I mean, I wouldn't say it's different, but I just got a new role, and, and I, I'm the same person I was last year. You know, I still bring a lot of energy. Uh, I just got to bring it on the court as well, defense and offensively. What were you saying to Bench when he was trying to guard you? Oh, nothing. You know, we just had a couple words. That's all. You know, just a little competitive juice into and in, 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 uh, in with us. Last year, Carlton, you had kind of a decision to make about coming back or I'm leaving. You decided to come back. During that whole process, did you talk to anybody or kind of? Looked to, to this year. I mean, you probably have a big year, and you started off. Um, I, I talked to my mom. She she asked me what I wanted to do and stuff, but she said it was always my decision. <laughs> but I was I was planning on coming back anyway. You know, just to d developing and just helping my team out. So, Joe, this is three surprise yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, especially being his size, um, being able to stretch the floor, so it would definitely help the team. So Gerald, last year you um, made like 47% of your threes, but didn't get to play a lot. Uh, you think you can do that again with the increased minutes you get? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, you know, I just stay in the gym, even on off days, just keep working. You know, shooting the shots Coach T wanted me to shoot. Uh, 250 out of 300. Yeah, just basically working hard every day. Carlton, is this the most athletic <coughs> you felt throughout just playing basketball at all? Is this the most athletic, athletic you felt? Um, I would say, you know, well, just the body's feeling good. Working with Hootie, you know, putting on, uh, putting on pounds and just keeping my body right and just get, being in shape. I think so, yes. Have you thought much about your role? Obviously, you know what it can be and that kind of thing, but you got so many veterans on this team, and then you have Josh coming in. I mean, has, has it been difficult to kind of find it? or? Uh, we still finding it. We still got a lot of chemistry. You know, we got a long season ahead of us. You know, we starting up um, this coming up, this week coming up. And we just, you know, it's just going to be a big challenge. It's just going to be a new role. Everybody just got to play their part. What's the most exciting part about the new role for you? Um, just being able, being able to be on the floor, you know, and be able to uh, get a chance to start, you know, get a fresh start, fresh new season. What did you think of the freshmen tonight, both of you? Uh, Were they nervous? Uh, um, I would say yeah. Most of us was nervous. The newcomers yeah, was nervous. Um, started. Yeah, it started with uh, when we was dancing. I know you can obviously see that. Uh, when then when we was going to the locker room and change, everybody was like, "I got these nerves and stuff." I mean, it just it just comes with the late night, but it, it's part of it. You think the coaches were a little too harsh on you, Dobe's dance moves? <laughs> I, nah, nah. I think it was it was fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladrock, can you describe your alley oop? Did you mean that? Did you know you were going to throw it back? Uh, yeah, I just knew. Uh, actually, Frank, like, third time throwing me that same lob. So, yeah, I just knew where he was going to throw it at. So I decided to do that. How about the tie? Is it disappointing? I know you guys are so competitive. Is it a bummer to end in the tie? No, it's not a bummer. It's just competitive, you know? You know, just having fun out there, just passionate about it. Yeah. Same? Yeah, same. <laughs> There's no bragging rights though, right? I mean, no. you got to get it tomorrow or Wednesday, I guess. Oh, we're going to keep going at it every day. Every time we get step on the car, we do. What do you think of Malik and Josh both? Malik, um, his both offensive really game, good players. yes. Very. He's going to help us a lot. Um, Josh can do every, pretty much everything. He can guard the ball. He can guard it big. Um, he can stretch the floor really well. You know, very a athletic. He can help us a lot. But so Gerald, a lot of guys as quick as you when they're younger never really develop the outside shot because they can always get to the hole. Uh, how did you develop it? I mean, resist that temptation? Um, and just working on working on my shot over the summer, shooting like a thousand a day. Uh, 
when I came here, I, I could shoot, but Coach T helped me out just with my form, and I used to shoot my elbow out. He just told me to keep the elbow in. Yeah, just working on the things that he told me. And you can tell the shot got better on the elbow. Yeah, side. definitely. Couple more questions. What did you guys think of Tech Nine? Did he talk to you guys at all, or you guys know him or listen to him? Um, I, I listened to a couple of his songs. I like his new song. Um, what was it called? I don't really know where it's called. I know a couple of little, I know a little lyrics to it. I, I was feeling it. I was feeling it. What was it, what was it like to be in this atmosphere again? Oh, uh, crazy again. Just nervous, fun. Um, it was just exciting. I love it. It's not something you can say, you can tell people. You just got to experience for yourself, you know. It's that type of, type of deal. You guys were, I think, 33 and 5 last year and one, one win away from the Final Four. How do you, how do you get back there? Uh, just look, look back at it, um, look at the film, see what we did wrong, you know, just use it as motivation, you know, just keep going every day. When you have a taste of something like that, how, I mean, is it It's hard to get the taste out your mouth, but, you know, you just got to move forward, you know, you got to build and build. Coach said you guys could be even better. I mean, you told the crowd that, even better than last year. Is that the mentality? Yeah, that's the pretty much the mentality right now, yes. Um, just he's just put challenging us and pushing us harder each and every day. Thank you. Oh, go ahead. Jared, what are Memphis basketball players known for? Like certain cities are known for certain things. Um, you say Memphis. <laughs> bro, it's just like fighting a dog. You no, know, just being like so competitive. It's always been that, having that competitive juice, and like um, I guess bro, I'm known for being a great defender. So, I guess I'll put defensives in there too. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.